Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, for today's video, we are not going to be doing like a tutorial, if that makes sense. But we're not doing like a makeup tutorial, but we're going to be doing a hair tutorial. And don't worry, it's not on this crazy hair tutorial. We are going to be doing like those French braids, if that makes sense. Or like prison braids, as they usually call them. Um, that's what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do. So if you guys want to learn how to get those prison braids or want to watch how to get them, then keep on watching. Sorry if I am off center. Like, I feel like I'm really off center. Like, I feel like it should be here, but I'm here. But whatever. Um, if also, if you think that I look really weird, I honestly do. Like, I literally feel so, like, crispy, if that makes sense. This last, like, weekend, like, today's Monday. On Saturday and Sunday, it was, like, in the 90s. Yesterday, it got, like, to 97, and I forgot to put, like... Like, I put on sunscreen, but apparently not enough because I literally look like a fried chicken. Like, my back is fried. It hurts to move my shoulders and my forehead. Got all burnt up here, as you can see. So, if you think I look like a weirdo, I honestly do. But, anyways, we're going to be doing this tutorial. So, I'm going to start taking out my hair. Okay, now that our hair is down and somewhat brushed out, for this tutorial, you really only need, like, a brush like this to, like, part your hair and about, like, two rubber bands, um, like, hair ties. Another thing, like, if I don't, you guys could, like, go out to the store and get, like, those clear ones. If you don't have those ones, there's this girl at my school, I'm like, where do you get those clear rubber bands from? She's like... I just used them for my from my braces and I was like oh my gosh like that's so smart so like if you guys have braces you could definitely just use those they're kind of harder to use because they're so much smaller but whatever so anyways I'm going to take this brush and you guys can really for this tutorial part your hair anyway and still braid it like this I just like to part mine in the middle and braid it like that I feel like it's easier and it makes like your hair have the same even amount so and if you're like where the heck is your middle you just can go from your nose and find the middle of your hair Okay, so now that our hair is parted like this, I'm going to take, I'm going to start with my right side because I always just start with my right side and then I go to my left. So I don't like get any hair from this side. I tie this side. And how I learned how to do braids was actually from like my best friend Olivia, who's been on my channel. My best friend Olivia. I'm definitely not as good as braids as she is. Like she's real good at braids. She can do like all these fancy braids and whatnot. And I'm just over here like, girl. Um, if you don't know how to do a regular braid, these braids look kind of tricky. But if you just like see how it really is, then you're like. Oh, that's actually not that hard. If you guys don't know how to braid in, um, like, regular, like, in just general, you just take, like, a good chunk of hair and you divide that hair into three parts. This is just an extra clip. Um, and you just start kind of going, you take this hair, go this way, take this hair, go this way. And you kind of just start going like that until all the way to the end. until it gets like this weird kind of like braid right here so that's kind of just how like you generally braid you just um divide it into three parts and kind of just start going ways but how we do these prison braids is you want to get like a good chunk of your hair like this a good first piece of hair but not too much because we need it you know for the rest and you really just want to brush it out, make sure that it's nice and flat. And then if you guys, hopefully you guys can see this, 
you are just going to start wanting to um, divide it into threes like this. And I always start with the back of my hair and I go like this. And I'm going to start pulling it tight and I'm not going to necessarily braid down here. I'm going to try to braid back here because I want my braid to go more like this instead of like down and sad. I want it to be like up around and happy if that makes sense also when you braid you don't want to braid the whole thing all the way down to the end because you're gonna hold this get three new pieces of chunks of hair but one of the pieces that you get out like this piece for example this braid that you just had so this kind of where it starts to get a little bit complicated but the braid that you just braided and the new separate hair that you're about to braid go together in one and then you get new hair three new or two new different chunks and now you start to braid that and just make it really tight because if you don't make it tight now and you make it loose it's gonna fall out much easier but if you make it tight then hairspray it then pull it out a little bit at the end then your braid will be better so again I'm not gonna braid all the way to the end just to here about here and then this I could probably do like one more braid or I can just finish it and make it like a nice thick braid so I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna finish it and make it a nice thick braid so hopefully you guys can see this then I'm gonna pick up this chunk of hair put it with here and then split these two apart and start braiding again And this is my last chunk of hair, so hopefully you guys can see what it looks like a little bit from the side. Hopefully you guys can see this. And then I'm just going to braid all the way till like I like don't have any more like three sections of hair to braid or anything. So that's how far I got down, and then you just take your little rubber bands here and you tie it so there is that beret that's what this one looks like and now I'm going to go and finish this side hopefully this like makes sense at all like hopefully this is making sense to you guys because I know it kind of looks complicated, like how the heck do you do that? So hopefully what I just said made a little bit more sense, hopefully. Okay guys, I am back and I just finished up this left side. It kind of cut me off at like the end, but I just had like that much hair left and stuff like that. Um, but it's all good. Um, so this is what the right side um, braid looks like and this is what the left side braid looks like. They're definitely not like perfect and stuff like that. Like they are both crazy. They're both not identical, which I love them to be, but they're definitely not. But yeah, this guy just gives you like a little bit um, more help, I guess, if you've always wanted to learn how to do these. Hopefully what I was saying in the video made 
sense to you guys hopefully it did um and anyways after you guys go back and like hairspray your hair you can always go and like pull it like this to make the braid a little bit fatter and looser um but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did Make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you're watching this video, you guys should leave some fried chicken because you all know. You all know the pain that I go on went through. But anyways, I will see you guys on my next video. And I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was a little bit of a different video and more of an enjoyable video. But I will see you guys on the next one.